before you get married, one of the most important things about getting married or selecting anyone to get married is that you. What's up, guys? And welcome back to another episode of Never Be Less. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on the next video that we're dropping next week. Let's begin. Today's question we have coming from Chad. What Chad is saying, my mom is pushing me to get married because my siblings are married. I want to get married, but I don't want to get married to just anyone. I want to choose a woman that is real and today's women aren't. Do you have any tips you can give me to get ready for marriage and have over 50 years of marriage? Come on, Chad. Okay. P.S. I want a God-fearing woman who is not bored and understand the value of marriage. Oh, Chad. Chad, you want a God-fearing woman. That's not easy. And the reason why I say that's not easy, Chad, is because most women that go to church today, they are not God-fearing. They say they are, but they're not. But most importantly, before you get married, one of the most important things about getting married or selecting anyone to get married is that you, Chad, you, 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 you need to focus on you first. You need to make sure that you have your shit together, have your ducks in a row. Understand what is entailed in a marriage, what is required of a marriage. Because guess what, Chad? Marriage benefits women financially. It's not just a walk in the park. And in order for you to make sure that you choose carefully and not just pick up some random girl, or pick up a girl because she's in the church, you think she's God-fearing? That's not enough, Chad. It's not enough. Most of these women that go to church, they're not God-fearing. They just know how to shout, Hallelujah! They know how to shout, Lord Jesus, you got me! And then some women go to church and are humble as humble. And yeah, some women that doesn't go to church, and they have the best of character, more than the ones that go to church. But don't get me wrong, Chad. And don't get me wrong for the Christians out there. And don't get it wrong for the people who go to church that are out there. There are some good women in church. Very decent, good, and healthy, God fearing, true God fearing women in church. They are not acclaimed Christian, proclaimed Christian. They're actual, true Christians that go to church. And I'm sure Chad is trying to find one of these women to get married to. But Chad, most importantly, I urge you. For you to go over 15 years, which is what you're dreaming about, there are many things that you need to do before you select someone that you want to get married to. But the most important thing is that you also need to know why you want to get married. Do you want to get married for you? Or do you want to get married because your parents want you to get married? And if the answer is the first, let's keep going. If it's the latter, let's keep going. So when it comes to marriage, you need to understand that marriage benefits women financially more than it benefits men. But don't be discouraged, Chad, because marriage generates wealth for men. Then in order for your marriage to generate wealth for you so that you could go over that 50-year mark that you're dreaming about going over or go to average 20 years, which is in today's time, in the mediocre timeline, which is five, don't be discouraged, Chad. Let's just focus on your 50. So in order for you to get your 50 year mark that you're looking at, there are a lot of work that you have to do and you also have to do your research on her and most importantly, on yourself. You need to know what is it that you're getting yourself into. You also need to work on yourself financially so that you could generate wealth within your marriage. You also need to know who you are so that you could create a balance in your relationship. And you also need to know who she is. You also need to get counseling before to get married. And I suggest you get at least two to six weeks worth of counseling with this woman that you plan to spend the rest of your life with, regardless of the fact that she attends church or she doesn't attend church. You want a God-fearing woman. Make sure that woman understands. Find a woman up that alley. Find a woman who loves God. Find a woman who operate accordingly and knows that God is real. I don't want to understand the role that she plays as a Christian woman or, or as a woman of God. You need to interview this woman and you need to pay attention. 
you also have to put yourself in a position and have that mindset to lead your family because women like men that lead whether they're God fearing or not you feeling me here Chad are we going in the right direction because you got work to do most importantly you need to know who you are you need to know what are your kryptonites you need to know what makes you happy what makes you sad or triggers your emotion, grief, of stress, anxiety, what makes you feel excited. And you also need to know what your desires are. You also need to know what type of woman you're looking for. You already said you're looking for a God fearing woman. Are there anything else that you desire from this woman that you're looking for? Now, once you list all those requirements that you're looking for, yes, 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 ladies, I say men do have requirements too, the same way all women have requirements for men. But given the fact that 80% of the voices are filed by a woman and 90% of those 80% that is filed by a woman ends in turmoil and get toxic from the woman, chat needs to be a lot more educated so that his marriage can generate wealth for it and not stress. Now let's go back to you, Chad. Chad, I need to work on yourself. I need to get financial knowledge. I also need you to put in place a prenup that is going to protect zero dollars you have or the million dollars you have or all the acquisition that you acquire through your financial knowledge by working on yourself, by improving yourself, by getting your ducks and rolls. These things are important for you because you want to make sure that the wealth that you're building continues to get built with your family. And if you pick wisely, if you pick wisely, and that woman that you pick, understand that she can get a lot more if you build your wealth and she could keep getting all that if you build your wealth by helping you build your wealth, there won't be there won't be divorce on the table. And you will be able to get a 15 year that you're looking at. Now, when it comes to her chat, when it comes to your selection process, you need to pay attention to the faces and what I mean by this face is that you have to pay attention you have to get to know her family her friends her attitude her actions her character who is she how does she act in a good day versus a bad day what type of personality does she exhibit you also need to know her energy what does she attract in her life and what does she put out into the universe you need to know all of that and you also need to pay attention to her social behavior, her sensitivity level. Is she stubborn? Does she have a sense of humor? Is she sexually active? Is she very sensitive? You need to pay attention to the faces because if you don't know these things, Jack, you're going to be stressed out in that marriage. You're going to be one-sided. You're going to be exhausted. The next thing you know, that 50 year that you're looking for becomes a 5.3 year, 7 year, and she walks away with more than what she brought into the marriage and you left. Shake your head. Chad, I hope this information was helpful for you. I hope you're not scared, but most importantly, you and every other guy is out there looking to get married. Most importantly, work on yourself and get financially educated and understand by selecting a smart woman to get married to a wise woman a woman that is god fearing or a woman that understands the value of marriage and you yourself who understands the value of wealth through financial literacy through self-awareness and by also paying attention and learning the faces, you will have a healthy relationship. Chad, you should work on yourself, also work on your charisma, your self esteem, and all of that. And Jack, practice leadership, learn how to lead, because that woman is going to seek your leadership from you. And Chad, nevertheless. <laughs>